Hello everyone. Hope all are doing well. In today's session, we are going to discuss about one of the most important international event upcoming on 22nd May. Yes, we are going to discuss about the International Day for Biological Diversity. As we all know that the koala, the cute pandas, the colorful tulips, the beautiful pine trees, the enthusiastic penguin, the polar bear, all this are the components of the earth's beauty. But we all know that those all are not evenly distributed on this planet earth. What exactly is the reason for it and what exactly is biodiversity? This will be the today's topic for discussion. Now before we get in, let's have a look what exactly is biodiversity. Biodiversity is the sum of all the lives on the earth. Every single individual life form from the smallest bacteria in the soil to the largest whale in the sea is a component of earth's biodiversity. But biodiversity doesn't stop at the individual. It is also the relationship between this life forms and their habitat. That includes the relationship between the plankton and the whales that help produce oxygen in the atmosphere, the seeds and the rhinos that help plant the forest and the bacteria and the plants that change the chemistry of the soils. What does this show? It shows that each and every individual is interconnected and that is how the life continues. In order to put up biodiversity in the form of an equation, what we can do is each individual life form and their interaction between those life forms is nothing but it gives us a biodiversity. Now, let's see why exactly is this biodiversity important for us. Earth's biodiversity is its most valuable and most necessary resource. It is the primary source of Earth's biosphere, the life web that produces everything that human needs, like food, water and many modern medicines and air. While other planets are likely rich in minerals of high monetary value here on the earth, no other planet that we know of have the conditions which are necessary for human civilization or that are sustainable for humans. The single biggest threat to the biodiversity is the habitat loss linked to the food production on land and in the sea. Biodiversity needs space to survive. Every animal needs a home like us. That home is wilderness. When we remove wildlands and convert them into industrial production spaces, we simultaneously subtract the landscapes needed for life production. The landscapes we depend on are for our own survival. When we lose biodiversity, we reduce our ability to fight against the climate change, grow sustainable and healthy crops, and have access to clean and abundant water. We are failing to prevent the pandemics and also to plan for a future for our children and grandchildren. Now, what are the important steps we can take to protect our biodiversity? Human need wild nature in order to survive. The best solution for fighting climate change and ending the extension of crisis is to set aside enough space for nature to support healthy biodiversity. That means protecting at least half the planet's land and seas. Scientists conclude that if we do so by 2030, we can successfully avert the worst of the climate and extension emergencies. Protecting the planet at that scale may seem like a huge task, but in fact, this is a historic opportunity for us to transform the way we live with the nature. Because we must protect half the entire planet, that means every region, every community, every individual is one of the front lines of the conservation. You are on the front line of conservation and you can make a difference. So without wasting a life, Time, let's start taking an oath that we will preserve our biodiversity in order to have a safe future for our coming generations. 
The challenge is that while we need biodiversity and biodiversity needs us, most people around the world still don't know about the critical importance of wildlands and the biodiversity they support. You can help change that and spark new hope for the future. When you share with your friends, families and networks about biodiversity, you expand the possibility for a healthy and wild future and give reason and give a new reason to who. Even though if you spread the message for 100 people and not only everyone may take it positively but even in that if 5 people work positively on it, even that may cause a difference. Every year, the International Day of Celebration has a particular theme. And this year, it is building a shared future for all life. That is, making the environment sustainable for all species on the earth. The Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity is pleased to announce the Biodiversity Day 2022 slogan as Building a Shared Future for All Life. The slogan was chosen to continue building momentum and support for the post-2020 global biodiversity framework to be adopted at the upcoming UN Biodiversity Conference, that is COP15. The slogan is available in the six United Nations languages. I hope now everyone is clear with the facts related to the International Day of Biodiversity and everyone will give a contribution towards preserving our wildlife. Thank you for being so long.